In this lesson, we'll begin a review of PSAT Reading Test 2, Section 1. We're on the first passage, which we know is the literary passage. And let's take a look at the reference information. This passage is adapted from Mark Sluka Brewster, a novel. And obviously, we know a novel is fictional. I assume you've read this. I'll read the first few paragraphs. This was a time trial. He said a one-mile time trial, four laps, not a race. It was meant to give an idea of where we stood no more. We gathered around the middle of the long side of the track, just 10 or 12 of us, including three others who seemed new, like me, jogging back and forth in the wind, loosening up. The rest of us had walked over to the other side of the field. Falvo took me aside, warmed up. How are the shoes? Fine. So Falvo was the coach. He takes him aside. We know that he is new, just like a few other boys, the narrator. And then a little bit further down, he, Falvo, turned to me. I don't want you doing anything stupid, Mosier. Some of these boys have been in it for a while. Don't think about them. Think about yourself. And so the setting is it's a group of high school students or students getting ready for a run. The narrator Mosier's an experience like a few others. The coach warns him not to exert himself. As the race starts, though, he does. And there's lots of detail. He slowly falls behind and he feels the weight of his feet. And he ends up passing out and throwing up on the track, and then Falvo approached him and, and uh, sort of chastised him for doing that. And so if you sort of understand what the main theme is, when you're answering the questions, answer the specific ones first. And if we see number one, always scan it the second question. Number two right away is a part of a two-part question, the first two questions. And so whenever we have to find the evidence, let's take a look at one. Based on the passage, which character would most likely agree with the idea that when trying something new, it is best not to push one's limits? We can kind of have an instinct already that it's probably the coach, right? That's the best evidence. He's the one who's warning the boys and specifically Mosier. But we're looking for evidence when trying something new, it is not best to push one's limits. And that's probably going to be at the beginning of the race, right? So if you look at the ranges, we have 14 to 22. That's the first two or 55 to 79. So because there's such a large space between these two, I'd first look between 14 and 22. If we don't find it, then then I would just uh, advance ahead to 55. But it's probably going to be in the beginning before the race started. So 14 to 22, we want evidence of the coach warning when trying something new not to overdo it. And so let's take a look around 14. He raised his voice over the wind. This is F Falvo. All right, I want you to stay contained. Stay smooth. I don't want you anyone draining the well today. That means you, Mr. McCann, a tough, tall-looking kid with red hair and a tight face, smiled like a gunslinger. And then a little bit further down, we have, he turned to me. I don't want you doing anything stupid, Mosher. Some of these boys have been in it for a while. Don't think about them. Think about yourself. And so in both of these, there's a little bit of evidence not to exert, right? So here in uh, 14 to 17, it says stay contained and stay, stay smooth, don't drain the well. But also in 19, he says don't do anything stupid. But you have to read the question carefully. There's always going to be a better choice. And it says when trying something new. And so it's not just evidence of, of not to push the limits, but trying something new. And I think here you'll see it's clear that we don't have that element of trying something new in, in 14 to 18, but in 19 to 23, some of these boys have been in it for a while. Don't think about them, think about yourself. So that's the element of new. It, there's always a better choice. And so the answer is A for number one, and the evidence for number two is B, 19 to 22. All right, let's take a look at number three. In context of five of his instructions to the runners, the main purpose of 24 to 27 is what? So this is a function question. What's the purpose of the coach's instructions 24 to 27? So let's take a look. Pace yourself. Let them do what they do. They'll be about 30 yards ahead of you after the first lap. Don't worry about them. Go out slow. Feel your way. Then bring it home as best as you can. Okay. So this is Falvo speaking again to Mosier indicating that the other boys are more experienced, they're gonna be farther ahead. So what is the purpose of this, this instruction? It's really, I mean, you can almost predict it here. So let's take a look at the choices. Provide a useful general information to the group. This is not to the group, this is to Mosier. 
emphasize and elaborate on advice given earlier. And so this is a non-specific, but the advice given earlier where he's saying don't do anything stupid, he's reinforcing that don't exert yourself, don't drain the well. He's telling Mosier this. So let's look at the other choices. Introduce a philosophy applicable to sports and life. <laughs> Reveal Falvo's under, underlying motivation. No, and so it's definitely B here. He is just reinforcing to Mosier, don't overdo it. All right, and let's take a look at number five in context of the passage. I shrugged in line 23, and sure, I said in line 28, what does that serve to? This is another function question. So 23 to 28, I shrugged and sure. So again, we've read this a few times here. This is again, Falvo speaking to Mosier, where he says, some of these boys have been in it for a while. Don't think about them, think about yourself. I shrugged. So this is Mosier, I shrugged. And then further, he, he reinforces the instructions. Go out slow, feel your way, then bring it home as best you can, sure. And so what's what's the, the tone here where he says, or I shrugged and sure, like what what's his response? Let's look at the answer choices here. It serves to show evidence of the narrator's what? Is he shy when he's saying sure and um, when he's just shrugging, let's take a look at their choices. Is he dismissive? Dismissive really means he he's not accepting it. He's he's almost ignoring the coach's warning, and we see that from the evidence in the race too. He didn't follow the the warning. It's not dishonest. There's no hostility. So I could see how I think most students are between A and B, but again, there has to be evidence that he's shy, that he is is a little anxious we don't see that element of shyness but when he's shrugging and he's saying sure it's almost casually where he's just sort of like not paying attention he's dismissing the coach's advice and so the answer here is b